what does hands-on learning look like in an online or hybrid environment? We utilize instructor-led labs where the instructor will actually perform the lab at the instruction of our students. So instead of our students being able to necessarily do the lab, we have the instructor doing the lab and following the instructions from the students. So the student will need to actually have a list of procedures and, and things that need to happen. And the instructor can question and ask them um, what's happening and why they chose that avenue and show the students the outcomes of those labs. This allows the students to start thinking critically about how to have leadership skills when they work in, um, an industrial environment. So uh, the hands-on learning in my remote classroom was similar to like it would be in the college, except now we were doing it from home. So, so we get to use a lot of cool stuff. I'm just trying to think of how to put it into words. A lot of the software and simulators we were using were uh, software that's actually used in industry, but it has a simulation side to it that the teacher or instructors could use. To, to basically make situations for us to have to, to fix or solve. Simulations is extremely important, especially when it comes to trades and apprenticeship, millwright mechanical trades and electrical trades. We are able to actually simulate how electrical circuits uh, function. We can wire them, troubleshoot them, and actually create full virtual simulations to problem solve as we go. In uh, the first year of the Health Office Administration uh, Diploma Program, which is also the one-year Medical Office Practices Certificate Program, hands-on learning will look like using cloud-based medical office software. It's the same software uh, that people are using in doctor's offices right now. Um, in the field of information technology, uh, we tend to work um, in distance environments all the time. In the IT courses that I teach, uh, this is also teaching them to do what they would be doing in the real world anyway. So, uh, you know, things that they would do specifically, for example, would be uh, source code management. Um, and that's things like revision control. One of the more common tools in the industry is something called GitHub. That's where students, as they work in groups, basically can, can um, work on uh, projects together. Okay? They, they work on different revisions. They test the revisions. So they can do that from wherever. Okay, so let me think of a, of a good recent example. Um, yes, okay, I've got one for you. So in the healthcare administration and service management program, hands-on learning looks like using the breakout rooms in Zoom to have small group discussions and use interactive forms to fill out together to then share back to the large group. All the courses that are IT courses at Waterloo are bring your own device anyway. So what's the difference of doing that work in the classroom on your own device or doing it at home on your own device? It looks like online debates and online opportunities to practice the theoretical ideas that are being learned. And that's where we've leveraged tools and technology to be able to take that out of a classroom setting and into an online setting. We use a lot of collaboration tools um, that allow the students to connect with the professors in different facets. Um, tools like the professors are allowed to see the, per the student screens, are able to work through issues, you know, help troubleshoot with the students without having to be right beside them. Where we might have learned about virtual conferencing and maybe tried it out once or twice, we are now gonna be using that regularly, weekly for our classes. And so now I'm trying to reimagine how could um, students actually apply this and maybe they set up the meeting and um, maybe they make those arrangements. And so it's a real direct practical experience to what they may be doing in the workplace. With the Applied Networking Infrastructure System Administration Program, the students have the ability to work with a virtual lab from home. It gives them the ability to build Windows environments, Linux environments, all done through online. They get the full scope of hands-on learning through an online resource. One software I found really helpful for this remote learning was our programmable logic controllers class. We used a Logix Pro simulator to simulate real world situations and we use them to finish our labs by taking a, for example, a, a bottling line and writing a PLC, a PLC code to automate that line using start stop buttons, just like we would in the real world, but on our computer at home. 
we utilize this term called digital twin. And a digital twin is something that exists in a virtual world, but also exists in uh, the hands-on world. So we have wiring boards where our students would actually wire up circuits, troubleshoot and problem solve. We've recreated that in the virtual environment to allow our students the same learning outcomes that they would have got in the hands-on world, but in a simulated and virtual environment. I mean, that, that's, that's basically it, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's the best class ever. And I get like almost perfect attendance. Like people show up at 8 a.m. We do an extra um, communication cafe on Fridays with bonus content. People show up there. It's the best. 